welcome back to our Yammer in Office 365 series. So we are done with inviting user or in exporting the user CSV file. Let's see if we want to remove a user or block a user. Uh, this is, with social networking, you have to sometime like if user are not complying with your user policy, you can remove them. <coughs> you can uh, block them like. Uh, since we saw the external network so it's a good idea that you have some control over who can um, contribute to your groups or network so let's see what is remove user so i already have some user deactivated and they are deactivated by system admins and they were just now. The following users have been deactivated and have free confirmed their email. So basically, <clears throat> like nobody, it's a lab environment. So I know 100% nobody mm, deactivated them. Why and how they got deactivated? I, uh, I have, there is nothing. I can try reactivating Obama by this. <coughs> so Obama has been reactivated. I'm gonna see what happens with him. In the meanwhile, uh, remove or deactivate an existing user from a chart for the network. Let's see if I can find Obama. Obama is there. So let's see. Uh, deactivated this user okay so we, I think if you deactivate a user they show up here but I know that I did not and all the other users they are just fictional like they are managed by me because it's a lab environment so nobody deactivated this <coughs> these user I'm gonna find out why Bush Trump Obama so I had four presidents in there, Bush, Trump, and Obama. Bill is not deactivated. My assumption is that <coughs> Bill was allowed, uh, Bill was given an Office 365 license. So I think the user that they don't have Office 365 user, they don't uh, have permission to use the Yammer as well because the, it's a whole pa part of package. If you remember when we saw there were like oh, everything in there, when we were giving Ali permission and assigning uh, uh, service uh, license to Ali, we saw in detail like what is included and if you can restrict uh, access, a uh, user's access to any service. So I think that's what happened. Let's see what are the options. If you search a user, you can find them and the, you have three, uh, four options you can deactivate this user and the user will <coughs> show up here you can permanently remove this user but retain their messages so if it's like if as user he left your company you can just remove him because if even if you deactivate he he will be deleted after 90 days so the user is gone you know for sure you can <coughs> remove the user but retain the message so for its archiving purposes or for the sake of um, going back and see what happened like if they were there for like a year or two year uh, so you want to make sure that you see their contribution permanently remove this user and remove their messages this is to comply if <coughs> like some users they want their data gone so first of all like totally social networking yes you can remove the user and remove their messages as well so the last one is erase this user, wipe their name and personal information, but leave their messages. Can't be done after 14 days. So basically what will happen is the post will be there, like the messages sent. It will say either anonymous user or it will say no user. Like you would uh, in this option, you will know that, hey, it was Obama who posted this, but you, nobody can interact with Obama. But in this option, they will not know that it's Obama. For example, if 10 people leave your company and you use this option, so they will all will say the exact same thing in the who sent this. 
for example if it's anonymous so you cannot conclude that they were all sent by just one guy they were different people so you submit it and this will happen i don't want to do anything because i activated obama and i want to see if he shows up here again the next one we wanted to see was block user how to block user to print so in this option we cannot search by the username we have to enter the full email address so let's see let's try obama at let's see if i can find them oh i don't want to block him some email address are associated with active users so i have um so can i try ali at <coughs> So if somebody is a part of my organization, I have to go and use the remove user from feature to uh, to deactivate them and oh and then I can delete them or do you have any more options? Nope. But I think the block user is for external users so let's try an email address from um, my okay, okay so my uh, assumption is correct if it's a part of your co uh, company that email address you have to search in the remove user but if it was like external guest you have to s enter their full email address and block them so this user is now blocked I'm gonna unblock him because I want <clears throat> I don't want to you know um, block somebody <clears throat> for the testing purpose because I'm gonna go and click on that link and create try to join this account and so Uh, let's see let's conclude this video nice and like a little seven minutes uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and you have a good night